Hey guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal channel, MentalMetalDetecting.com, and today I'm really super excited because I'm going to show you a video. It's going to be an unboxing video. I don't typically do these because I don't really buy much, but I got a surprise. You probably won't even care because it's really not related to metal detecting, but it kind of is, and you're going to see why here in a minute. But I bought something for the future, for the future of this channel and the future of my metal detecting adventures. Hopefully you guys will like it. <laughs> I don't get many, very many views anymore anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just doing this for fun. But behind me you see I have a kayak. This is my kind of a used, I bought it used, it's called an Ascend 10T, and you can see my life vest is on it. This was my old kayak. This is my little, uh, I've used this in several videos during the summer. It does the job, it's a sitting kayak, but this one's a sit on kayak. I wanted a sit on kayak because it's a little longer and I can put more stuff on it. And I tested it out a couple weeks ago with my friend Keith down in one of his uh, Civil War uh, shell sites, which was a lot of fun. Learned a lot from him. But there is a downfall to, to using kayaks. And if you can kind of guess what that might be, um, you kind of have to go a long way sometimes, and most of the time it's downstream. And then you have to figure out how to get back upstream. And I don't want to paddle upstream. I'm getting older. I'm not any younger. So... I'm going to put a motor on that kayak right there. And that is what came in the mail today. My kayak motor. So let's check it out. We're going to unbox it together. I'm so excited. So here you have the Newport Vessels electronic trolling motor. It is the for a kayak, kayak series. It's got 55 pounds of thrust, as the box says. Um, max current 52 amps, 24 inch shaft length, 6 foot outside cable. A lot of this, I don't even know if it's going to work or not, if it's too much of a trolling motor, but we're going to we're gonna unbox this puppy and see what we're up against. If you haven't noticed, I have built, I half, halfway built the mount for it, and I used PVC, I saw this on the internet, maybe I'll do a video on it, but I made a mount for the, um, I'm going to put a 2x4 across the back of my PVC here and, and about 10 inches is going to hang off the edge and that's what I'm going to mount my motor to and I lost my fishing reel or fishing uh, rod holders so I went ahead and created two more up here and of course I spray painted it looks kind of blends into the boat or kayak I should say so that's the plan alright not sure how much of this you're going to be able to see so I'm going to do my best Try not to cut myself. The box has a little damage to it on the back, so I'm a little concerned about that. You can see it. It's been poked here and here, but I'm hoping it'll be okay. Got the bottom opened up. Let's just try to take it out from here. Let's see what happens. What do you get in the box is the mystery question. Ooh. All right, the box is empty. Right there. Lay this down right here. Oh man, so exciting. And for the record, I have no experience um, boating with an engine motor, so this will be an experiment. Get it out, styrofoam. All right, here we 
very good. So there you go. So far we have the motor with the propeller probably in this box, I'm guessing. Let's open the bag and see what we got. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little intimidated because I think I'm in way over my head, but there's no turn back now. We're going to make this thing work. So you get a box, that's the propeller, we'll open that up in a second. heavy <laughs> should be interesting um, it's about 16 pounds I think it was on the website not too hard to manage but when you add a big battery to it uh, it's gonna be a little touchy what else do you get in the box you get this Stop, contact Newport Vessels directly for all customer service and questions. Alright, well we'll keep that in case I need it. Let's open up the other box. And that's exactly what it is, a propeller. Not sure what this is. Please connect to the red cable. We'll have to figure that out. And you get a thank you for your purchase card with a support number and stuff on it. And you get a use user's manual or owner's manual. And that's it. You get six feet of cable to run to your battery. I'm going to have to get longer cable because I'm putting the battery in the front of the boat, I think. So, there you have it. What did I purchase to go with it? Let me show you. So, I've also purchased this Newport Vessels battery box. So, the battery fits inside the box. It's waterproof. I'm working on a way to mount it to my boat right now. But, that's my plan. Battery battery box motor so we're going to motorize my Ascend 10T kayak and hopefully it will not sink <laughs> it's going to be uh, interesting it's a pretty heavy motor um, I don't know if it's real heavy compared to others you can buy I was going to go with the Minn Kota but I couldn't get one available so this was the next runner up and it seemed like it was uh, got good reviews so that's why I picked it and uh, the price is pretty reasonable so if you guys want any of this stuff I to motorize your kayak I'll put links in the description of the video where you can purchase these things through Amazon full disclosure I am an Amazon affiliate so if you do decide to motorize your kayak please use those links helps me out a little bit hit that subscribe button if you want to see how this all turns out in the end because I plan on making sure I have this up and running very soon. So I've got my boat motor going here and we're getting just about to the deep water where I can kick it in and really get moving. So um, it's going to be fun. It's a weekday and I haven't seen a soul out here so that's awesome. So let's kick it in and get going. There's three, there's four, and then five. Oh. Now we're moving. This boat moves. No joke. Hopefully I'm not taking on water in the back. <laughs> oh, this is the best investment I think I've ever made. Putting a motor on my kayak. I improvise my kayak a bit, but it works well. Works really well. Alright, see you when we get there. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in my boat. See ya!